let's balance this chemical equation. So in balancing any chemical equation, you want to start by seeing if there's any lone elemental forms of substances in the reactants or products. Because if there are, then you want to start by balancing the entire equation, ignoring those elements. However, we can see in, in this equation, there are no lone elemental forms. Okay. Now, the, the next thing we want to look for is to see if we can make any substitutions. In this case, we can substitute for SO4 and OH. So we're going to say that A is equal to SO4 and B is equal to OH. So making the substitution, we have Now, you might be thinking, well, don't we need to be careful? Because both of these substitutions contain oxygens. But then furthermore, what if there were oxygens outside of the SO4 and OH groups in the equation? Well, it's not a problem because we're going to balance everything in this equation. We're going to balance the A groups and the B groups. We're going to balance everything. If there were oxygens outside of the A and B groups, we would balance those as well. Okay, so let's balance this. So now next, we want to look for elements that are contained in just one substance on the left side of the equation, as well as just one substance on the right side of the equation. So here in the reactant side, we can see we've got aluminum just in one substance. And also on the product side, we have aluminum just in one substance. So what that allows us to do is we can relate these two coefficients. It's going to have to be the case that if this coefficient is x, then this coefficient is going to have to be 2x. This coefficient has to be twice this coefficient in order for the aluminums to balance. Okay, now we can see that the B group occurs by itself on the reactant side in this compound, and it also occurs by itself on the product side in this compound. So we can relate these two coefficients. So if on the, the right side, there's we can see there's 6x B groups, so here, there also needs to be 6x B groups. Okay, now we've got the, the calcium occurs by itself on the reactant side here and the product side here and also the A group. So we can balance the A group or the calcium. Let's just do the calcium. We can see that this is going to have to be 3x in order for the calciums to balance. Okay, so this is balanced with coefficients in terms of x, but we can choose any x we want and, and this equation is going to be balanced. So we just choose x to be 1. So if x is 1, then this is 3, this is 3, this is 2. And that's the balanced chemical equation.